Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent. I worked at IRS over a decade. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've worked, God, I don't know, about 10,000 cases. My YouTubes are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. I don't waste time. So um, today I want to talk to you about the CP504 and what not to do. Um, IRS, if you owe tax debt, sends out a series of, I don't know, five notices CP2000, let's see, 501, CP503, CP504, and then the 1058. The one thing you do not do, you do not do, is call IRS when you get the CP504. Final notice of intent to levy or seize. You do not do that under no condition do you go ahead and do that. None, none, none. It's a scary letter. It's a threatening letter, but listen to me. You got another letter coming. They, they kind of ramp that up and start to shove that one up your butt like they're going to do something immediately. But listen, you got another letter coming because you get appeals rights on a CP90 or a CP1058. They cannot. They cannot enforce the CP504 because they do not give you your collection due process rights under the Bill of Rights for Internal Revenue Service. Relax. Relax. So what you do want to do, though, at this time when you get it, is you want to have an exit strategy, and that's the time you start planning during the next 30 days. By the way, your next letter will come, I don't know, maybe six weeks later, may come certified, may not. So you want to call your tax professional uh, at that point in time, or me, or whoever you want to use, um, and say, hey, what do I want to do with this debt? IRS is going to levy. First of all, they are going to levy if you don't do anything. They're going to send out a bank levy to any bank you banked at in six years, or they're going to look at your W-2s or 1099s because they have levy sources for the last six years. So um, you're going to, IRS is going to ask for a financial statement on a form 433F or 433A, depending on where the case is. Usually the 433 up in the service center. And then when they do that, they're going to take that statement, they're going to want it documented, and they're going to decide what program that you they are going to put you in, not what you're asking for, what they're putting you in. You're either going to go into currently not collectible hardship, payment agreement, or you may be able to settle your debt for pennies on a dollar. Your current financial statement determines what program that they are going to put you in. So don't call. Uh, if it's your, if you, if this, this is your own case, you're a do-it-yourselfer. A lot of YouTubers are. I wouldn't be a do-it-yourselfer when IRS is involved, but people do it. You have to understand the IRS National Standards Program. The IRS National uh, Standards Program pretty much uh, lets you know that IRS is only going to allow you to live on X amount of dollars a month. That's why you really got to be careful. But don't panic. Just get in the planning mood. Two other things you should do. Make sure all your tax returns are filed and make sure your 1099s and uh, are, I mean, your, um, your W-4 is, is current on, your, on having enough withholding or estimate payments taken out. So, uh, by the way, if you like the information I'm giving you, please like me. It, it helps promote at least what I'm trying to get out. Uh, you can subscribe and you can put notifications on when my next YouTubes are coming out. If you have questions or comments, leave them on the comments section. I try to go ahead and get back to everyone. Thank you so much for, uh, for listening. Appreciate it.